Okay, right here is a 1959 Marion 7400 walking drag line. In 1940, the year after Marion launched its first walking drag line, which was the Model 7200, Marion introduced what would become one of the most successful walking drag lines ever built in history, which was the Model 7400, which you can see right here. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this legend. The 7400 was available from Marion with boom sizes ranging from 160 to 235 feet in length with corresponding bucket sizes ranging from 7 to 14 cubic yards. This particular 7400 is equipped with a 160 foot boom and a 14 cubic yard bucket. Right here you can see the tub on the 7400, which measures 31 feet across. And if you look, you can see all of the individual circle rollers, which will swing the drag line left or right about the tub when it's in operation. The 7400 is equipped with 77 circle rollers. And right here you can see where the drag rope runs out through the fair lead. To help give you an idea of the size of a 7400, this machine measures 25 feet 2 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 58 feet 6 inches tall from the ground to the top of the A-frame. Okay, now let's go up inside of the 7400. Right here you can see one of the big walking shoes on the 7400. Marion used a simple crank on each end of the walking shaft on its smaller walking drag lines, which you can see right here. How this works is very simple. The crank bears into a trunnion that is pivoted to the walking shoe. The other end of the trunnion is attached to the drag line's frame above the walking shaft by means of a tie rod. And when this machine is engaged into the propel mode, the walking shaft will rotate the cranks forcing both shoes down onto the ground, which will pick the back of this drag line up and slide the entire machine backward, a distance that is referred to as a step. The Marion 7400 takes a 6 foot 2 inch step every rotation, moving along at a top travel speed of 0 0.15 miles per hour.
Okay, here we are inside of the machinery house on the 7400. Now let's go and check it out. In the front of this machine, here you can see the two vertical swing motors, one on each side, and this is what will swing this machine left or right when it's in operation. Each one of these motors is rated at 94 horsepower. The operating machinery for the 7400 consists of a hoist drum and hoist shaft, a drag drum and drag shaft, and a propel pinion mounted on the drag shaft to engage the propel gear. On the Ward Leonard Control Electric 7400, this machinery is all driven by a 425 horsepower hoist motor through a herringbone gear train in a fully enclosed gear box mounted between the hoist motor and the drum shafts. On the diesel 7400, this machinery is all driven by the diesel engine, which we will go and take a look at in a minute. On a 7400, the front drum is the hoist drum, and the rear drum is the drag drum. Right here you can see where the walking shaft runs across the drag line and connects on the outside to each of the cranks. And when this is engaged, this is what will rotate to push the shoes down onto the ground, tip the back of the drag line up, and walk this machine. The 7400 was available from Marion with either diesel or electric power, depending on what the customer preferred. And as you can see, this particular 7400 is diesel powered. The diesel version of the 7400 was powered by a Cooper Bessemer JS8 diesel engine that produced 900 horsepower at 500 RPM. As you can see, this particular 7400 was repowered later on in its working life. And the big engine that you are looking at right here is a Caterpillar D399 V16 marine diesel engine that produces 1,000 horsepower at 1,125 RPM. The electric version of the 7400 was equipped with an AC motor generator set rated at 700 horsepower. This powered the main hoist motor, which in turn powered the hoist drum, drag drum, and the swing system. And if you look right here, you can see one of the air cleaners for the engine, and the other is on the opposite side. Okay, now let's go up and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 7400. Now let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Okay, the two foot pedals that you see on the floor, directly out in front of the operator's seat, control the drum brakes. The right pedal controls the hoist drum brake, and the left pedal controls the drag drum brake. This hand lever that you see over here, on the left side, controls the swing. Push forward to make the drag line swing to the right, and pull back to make the drag line swing to the left. This hand lever that you see over here on the right side controls both the hoist and drag functions on this machine. 
Pull back to engage the hoist. Push forward one click to engage the drag. And push forward all the way to engage both the hoist and drag. And if you look off to the right here, you can see other controls for the propel brake, the engine clutch, and back here you can see other switches on this control box to work other various functions on this machine, such as the propel switch, the swing brake, and the main power on-off switch. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 7400. And because air conditioning was not standard on the 7400 when these machines were built, the front window on the operator's cab slides downward to allow for better visibility and also to allow for better air circulation inside the cab for the operator when he's running this machine on a hot summer day. And as you can see, the two side windows on the operator's cab swing outward to also allow for better air circulation inside the cab to help keep the operator cool. And from standing up top here, you can get another great overview of what the inside of the machinery house on the 7400 looks like. On each side of the machinery house on the diesel powered version of the 7400 are mounted two massive diesel fuel tanks. You can see one right here and the other is on the opposite side and these supply the machine with 2,000 gallons of fuel. And if you look you can see the exhaust pipe for the engine and directly above it you can see where it says Marion 7400. The 7400 remained in production until 1974, following an incredible 34-year production life in which 93 units were built and sold all around the world. Later on, in 1979, Marion introduced the new and modular designed 7450 walking dragline as the successor to the famous 7400. 
And this beautiful diesel-powered 7400 that you are looking at right here is still in operation today. But there she is. The most successful walking dragline ever built by Marion. The 7400.